Planner Babes, it's Kim here from Memories in Time. Can you guess what I received in the mail yesterday? I bet you can't. I bet you have no clue. Bet you don't. So, yeah, it's the happy, the Be Happy Amy Tangerine box, and I'm so excited. So, what I'm doing today is I am going to use some of the fabulous rainbow tissue and try and recreate something that I saw floating around on Instagram and I believe and I don't know if this is not the correct credit so if this is not the original credit I do apologize and if you do know who the um, original credit goes to please drop it in the comments down below but I believe Crow Designs on Instagram is who possibly came up with this fabulous idea. And so what I'm doing is right here, literally off to the left, my little laminator is warming up. And I am going to create a um, Amy Tangerine sort of custom homemade divider for my fabulous new Amy Tangerine Be Happy Box Planner, which is going to turn into my social media planner in July. Woo -woo. I'm so excited. So when, what I did is I took the dashboard, this fabulous dashboard um, or divider, gratitude turns what we have into enough. I took this out of the pack and I measured measured just the white um, backing and it ended up being five and a half wide by nine and a quarter tall and then I also picked up this get the puppy hairs off fabulous we are memory keepers tab punch and these wonderful little um, sticky tabs that came with it and so I am going to be creating a couple. I think I'm going to be creating three different um, dividers for my new Happy Planner. And so again, the dimensions are five and a half, which of course you can make this any way you want, but I want one that's exactly this size because I love it, I love it. So five and a half by nine and a quarter. And I'm just going to scoot this baby right off to the side.
pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now let's see if this peppy is going to match up. I'm almost thinking that, and I hope this um, will not show through, but I feel like I need just something that's going to hold it together. one right here that had the wrinkle in it be the back of the dashboard and so what I need to do is there's a little bit right here that needs to trim off just a little and make sure I'm good. Oh, I love it. I love it. And then let's see what this is going to look like. So I'm just going to put some scrapbook adhesive. And this is just the El Cheapo kind, the paper studio that you pick up at Hobby Lobs. I'm going to repurpose that sticker. Happiness looks good on you. Oh, I love it. And you know what? I don't want that tab to be green. I did want that tab to be green, but I think I want the tab to be blue. So, what I'm going to do is just fold that in half. Is there enough of that? Maybe what I need to do is do it like this. I'm going to let that run through the laminator. Love it, love it. And then my tab will be blue. So I'm just going to set that to the side for a hot second. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off this excess and trim off this excess. And I'm going to fold this piece of tissue paper in half and the reason I'm gonna this is small enough now that I can work with it and be able to cut both pieces at the same time both pieces at the same time and so now I'm getting ready to create my half um, border my half border and so on this one um, I just want it to be about I'm gonna let this one be three inches and so I'm going to come in to three Inches and make sure that's cut really good. And then I'm going to go up 
nine and a quarter. And then we're going to do three inches. go and on this one I can do the green tab let's see if that will be maybe what we'll do is we will Okay, so now we're ready, and I need to put a sticker on this one. So let's pull our stickers out. I would really like, do I want a clear sticker? Or do I want a white sticker? Let's see what this one will look like. Plan a happy life. Let's just see what this will look like. Not that this is really going to matter because it's going on tissue paper. Okay, so here goes. Let's just Okay, here goes, here goes. So I'm hoping that and this is just the film that came with the laminator if I can find the end that opens I've been trying really desperately not to get puppy hair on there because to know me is to know there's puppy hair Oh, I so hope this works. Oh, man. I so hope this works. Static electricity. Okay. Here goes nothing. You know that I think about that. I don't know that I like it. And I did want it off-centered because I'm going to punch. So here goes nothing. Straighten it up just a little. I know it doesn't really make a difference, but okay. Here we go. We're going into the laminator. Hopefully there's no bubbles. 
This is just a Scotch brand laminator that I picked up at Walmart. It's just an itty bitty compact. Oh, and just as I was afraid, you're going to be able to see the tape. Mm, I just knew it. I knew it, knew it, knew it, but I'm going to be okay with it. Remember, I'm a perfectionist in recovery, or at least I'm trying to be a perfectionist in recovery. <gasps> ah! And I'm going to do a second run through just to make sure that we're good and sealed. See what I was talking about when I said you can see the tape? Not as much. I can see it here, here, and here. I was just so afraid that if I didn't, then um, put it would be awkward. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm okay. Perfectionist in recovery. Yes, I am a perfectionist in recovery. I have to be. <sighs> Otherwise, it'll kill me. And I'm just doing a second pass through the laminator. And while that one is going through, I'm going to, and I did buy an extra set of this, so, um, but I'll tell you something I'm going to do. And I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to cut this because I don't want to waste all of that laminate right there. Although this stuff is extremely inexpensive. So it's gone through two passes on the laminator. It should be sealed very well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm getting ready to run this one through. And um, before I do though, I am going to salvage half of this so that I will be able to use the rest of this. On another project well it didn't cut all the way through And I'll be able to use that on another project. Okay, so here goes nothing. And I'm going to run this one through a second time also. And while that's running through, And let me just share some of my thought process with you. I wanted, since this was a white sticker, I wanted something white there. And since it's so colorful, I thought the blue with the little hint of gold would um, really stand out and pop. So that was why I chose that. So this is a We Are Memory Keepers tab punch that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And if you pop that up, I'll pop it up so you can see what's happening here. Uh oh, there we go. So I left some clear um, laminate there so that I can see what I'm doing. Oh man, that did not just happen. I laminated it because since it was tissue paper, I knew I would have a hard time 
getting it to come through and I still had a hard time. Are you kidding me? Well, it's okay. I couldn't have punched it if it was tissue paper. I think I'm gonna have to run that puppy through one more time. That feels really, really flimsy for some reason. So be prepared, sister, for the same thing to happen here. Just be prepared, sister. Ah, there we go. I put a little more grit into it that time. And that one actually stuck together. Fabulous. That's okay, we'll just put a little scrapbook tape on this baby, just a little. I think I may need my tweezers. And now I'm gonna turn the lamination machine off. Because it's new, oh man, does it ever have a funky smell. Takes me back to my elementary school that well, and even when I was a teacher. Even when I was a teacher, takes me back. Okay, so now I am ready to trim these babies down. And this is not, I'm going to be honest with you, it is not as stiff, hard meal plastic as I would like it to be, but it is going to be just perfect. Remember, I am... And I probably should have used the craft knife to do this so it would be really precise, but I didn't. But I may do that. Now that I think about it, I may lay the craft knife down. This just helps get rid of some of the excess. Uh-oh. This one, you can tell, is extremely flimsy. And I ran it through twice. So I don't know what's up with that. Okay, so let's move.
chore. So now I'm going to, I've made sure everything in here is good and clean. There's no paper pieces, there's no lamination pieces stuck behind, left behind. And so I am going to attempt punching this one. And this is not, like I said, it's not very sturdy. It's sort of more pliable, flexible. And so that could be one of the reasons why it's a little sticky whenever I try punching. But I've run um, the smaller piece, the smaller dashboard back through twice. And so it did have a few little snafus, but I think it's going to be fine. I do not like that you can see where I put the little touches of glue, but it's okay. The edges all seem to be sealed really well. And that will be my tab. So let me just move. I know I'm finished with this, and I know I'm finished with this. Give myself a little, little space here. Everybody cross your fingers and say a little... A little prayer for me. And I know that I'm going to stand up. Put some more power behind it. Oh, yay. Yay, yay, yay. I should save that and let that be confetti. So now I can set the punch to the side. And the only place I had a little issue was right there. And hopefully that will self-correct when I run it back through again. I will run it through twice just to make sure we're good. All right, so now I'm going to put the green one on here. And so these little sticky tab pieces came with the punch, but then I bought an extra pack because I wasn't sure how this process was going to work. Um, this is where I will mark my place in my social media calendar. So I am going to, now let me run this back through one more time through the laminator. So I am going to flip over to where we have these fun words. And I think I'm going to use the word today because this is, do I want today, get it done, big plans, I don't know, well it's gold, so it shouldn't matter, or I could do the nail, today is yellow, but that's going to go on yellow, today's red, I could just do the happy, I think I want the today, and I think I want the yellow today. So let's pull that one and put that. And now I'm going to turn that laminator off again because I do not need it. So let's put that right there. And of course, the yellow is not going to show up. But the foiled today is. So let's see how this works. And I'm going to have to lay this so that I can see tweezers. Right there. So this is definitely has a learning curve. Definitely has a learning curve. But 
but I like it. It's a little, and thank God it's clear because it's a little crooked, but I like it. Again, I'm trying to be a perfectionist in recovery. Anywhere that I can get snags, I'm just trying to take that out. So this one, and these are really flimsy. They probably won't last very long. This is going to be like a um, note section or a, I think I'm going to call this one my get things done, get it done section. Or, um, let's see, get it done, make stuff happen. Big plans, big plans later. Happy, make stuff happen. Like this, get it done. And of course, you're not going to be able to see the get it done. You're not going to be able to tell that it's pink, probably. It will end up looking purple, but you're going to be able to see the get it done in gold. So I'm going to do something a little bit differently on this one. Find my sticker here. And that's what these are. These are stickers. I'm trying not to get my big old fingerprints in it. And I am going to try this again. My phone died right in the middle, and I'm so sorry. So, um, when it died, I was working on getting this tab um, adhered to the divider. And so now I'm finished. As I said with these um, during the actual process, there is a little learning curve on these. And um, what you'll want to do is, when you use these stickers, get your tab in there and then lay it all the way down so that you do not have that gap right there. Um, and you can tell I did much better on the second one than I did the first one. There's a huge gap. So, but I'm happy with how they turned out. Um, I would recommend using the heavier meal laminate pouch because these are a little flimsy, but they'll be they'll serve my purpose. So this one I will use for uh, my daily or to mark my week in my social media planner. This one I think I have decided I am going to put right behind uh, my name, and I'll use one of those cool pink um, names that that Miss Miller's has been cut for me um, and I'll leave her link down below as well so if you would like to purchase one um, you can but I'm going to separate the 2019 and 2020 calendar with the get it done and that is where I will put in the note paper and be able to jot down just some ideas so that is how it turned out thank you for joining me and again I want to send out um, all shout outs to at Crow Designs, K R O D E S I G N S, um, on Instagram because that is the first planner babe that I saw do this and I was inspired to recreate um, the exact same thing. So I love it. So be sure to leave me comments down below. Happy planning!